You've got the best job in the house today, Brittany. What a beautiful day to be out there. I really do. I'm just standing here enjoying the birds, singing, looking at all the tulips. And we actually have Keith Brock here. He is one of the directors of Horticulture. And you guys have your tulips for kind of one last weekend. If you want to see him, you should get out here this weekend. This is peak bloom time for us. And if you really want to enjoy them at their peak, this is the time to see it. So they'll be transitioning out soon. So now's the time. And you guys are going to be transitioning into some other color, like the rose beds here that you guys have mulched. And then you also have this nice tunnel of wisteria. That's what's coming next. That and some of our woody perennials that are blooming, such as your azaleas, uh, spirea, a lot of viburnums, and our flowering trees. We always love the flowers. That's what spring is all about. And you guys have a plant cell coming up. Tell us a little bit about that. So that's next week and it starts for our on Friday from two to seven and Saturday nine to two. But if you want to get an early start on Thursday, our member only event is from three to seven. And if you'd like to get a membership for that, you can do go online and get that, or you can get it at the plant sale, which will get it, get you a 10% discount. So that membership really pays for itself because you're getting that discount on the plants. And you guys encourage that if you're going to buy a bunch of plants, you know, to bring your own wagon. Yeah, correct, because it's a busy time. Everybody's ready for spring. It's our biggest sale. So yes, if you've got some transportation you can bring with you, it'd be great. And you're getting that expertise because you guys are going to have all kinds of experts while people are trying to pick out their plants. Correct. We'll have our horticulture culture staff out there as well as master gardeners and we have cit citrus experts, Japanese maples and everything in between so natives we can cover it so if you have, bring your questions and we'll help you out. And that's so amazing. Thank you so much Brock because I always just go for the flowering plants but there's a little bit more to it if you want to keep those plants alive throughout the season and hey today is a great day to head out to the Botanic Garden. This weekend it's going to be phenomenal to get out at the garden as well. So our radar is looking quiet in North Texas. That is going to change a little bit later on this evening. We'll start to see some rain in our western counties, and some of that rain will move through the Metroplex around 1 to 2 a.m. But temperature wise, you can't beat it. We have the full sunshine, just a couple of high clouds out here. Temperatures are great. As we take a look at that planner, we're going to be warming into the mid 70s this afternoon. Winds will pick up a little bit later on today, but it's still feeling amazing outside. And as I mentioned, those precipitation chances in the Metroplex around Fort Worth and Dallas, we're really looking at that rain moving in around 1 to 2 a.m. Quick moving showers are not going to last long. And on future casts, we're not even looking at any severe weather as these showers move through. They will have pushed off to the east as we're waking up on Saturday morning. So just a quick light rain overnight, maybe a tenth of an inch in some spots. But our seven day forecast is looking like fall. I love the temperatures that we have in it. We have a lot of 70s in there. Sunday, those winds pick up out of the south. That's going to help boost our temperatures into the lower 80s. And then Monday into Tuesday is when we're going to have our next chance for some more widespread benefits official rain. We could get some strong storms then, so we're keeping an eye on any of that severe potential. But in the meantime, Karen, enjoy the weekend. I mean, I got the sun on my face. This really couldn't be a better situation. I am absolutely loving it here. Oh, no kidding. I am jealous, Brittany. Thank you very much.